Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to use the Melody Muse app within Canva. So go ahead and pick up the template by clicking on the image and getting the link. When this loads, you choose Edit Template at the bottom. If you're logged into Canva, it will automatically open within Canva. If not, you need to log in with Google using your school account. So this is what's set up. There are videos throughout the presentation. You need to find music that will complement those videos. The first one has been done as an example, so you might want to listen to it just to see an example of the music that matches the video. So here is an example of a final product that has videos and music that goes with it. You will see an example at the end of this presentation. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to duplicate a slide and change the video and add the music using Melody Muse. So I'm going to right click on this last slide and choose Duplicate Page. Now I need to find a video. So if I go over to Videos on the left hand side, I can look up a scene. Let's say I want to do a scene um, travel. Now notice these are pro, so if you use it and there's a watermark, you're going to need to go to Pixabay to find one that doesn't have a watermark. Otherwise, you can use the videos that don't require payment. I would check it out. There's a possibility you won't have a watermark, but if so, use one that comes with the education version. If you're running into issues locating video, you can go ahead and go to pixabay.com, type in what you want. In this case, I did say travel. I hit the enter key and where it says all images in the upper left corner, I'm going to choose videos and I'm going to look for a video. I decided to look for something that's scary. Let's say you want to make a scary video. So you would come to Pixabay, you would type in scary. Do make sure that you specify videos because it sometimes automatically goes back to images. So I'm going to go ahead and locate a video that's at least 10 seconds. So I like this one. I'm going to choose download. I'm going to choose the one that's 1280 by 720 and choose download. Do make sure that you take the name of the person to say thank you and right click on that selection and choose copy. Go back to your presentation and make sure you add it to the credits. I'm going to need to make this a little smaller so it fits within that space. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the uploads option, choose video, upload file, and I'm going to upload that video. While that's uploading, I'm going to go to the slide where I want to add the video. I'm going to drag it. I do want to make sure it's 10 seconds. If I click on the video, you can see it's 17 seconds. So you can trim the video any way you want. I'll get it down to 10 seconds because we're doing 10 second examples and you could move it. I'm going to delete the audio that I brought over with that video because I want to start from scratch with that last video. I'm going to go to apps over on the left. I'm going to type in Melody Muse, all one word, and hit the enter key. And there it is. Now do keep in mind you're very limited. You can do like maybe a couple. And so if you're having to wait till the next day, I encourage you to go work on other Canva projects and then revisit this the next day to continue adding your music. Now you can choose generate and type in what you want. I'm going to type in music for a scary scene in a film. And let's see what it gets me. Now I'll be honest, I don't get the best results sometimes. So keep that in mind. I'm going to set it to 10 seconds and choose generate. And you might have to wait patiently. Now see, I reached my limits, which is really frustrating. So I will have to come back and revisit. So I waited a couple days later and now I'm able to access Melody Muse. Remember there are restrictions. You could always search for music that you think will complement the video as well. So you don't have to be stuck with just Melody Muse to find music. But I want to show you how this particular app works. So I plugged in music for a scary scene and I set it to 10 seconds and then now I will generate the music. So now we're experiencing high demand. Since Melody Muse is giving me issues at this time, I'll show you how to add music to complement the video. Go ahead and select audio on the left hand side. I typed in scary music and you can see these options for scary, horror, audio, etc. And I'm going to come in and start listening to these and see if any of them would complement that video. So depending if you have a paid version or possibly an education version, you could use the ones that are premium. But I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one just in case. 
because it's not premium. I listen to it and I actually think it works. This is 18 seconds. Remember, we're doing 10 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. I will drag it out and I will go ahead and move the music so it fits under that video. I will go ahead and click on the music. I will right click. I will choose fade. So I'm going to set it to three for fade in and fade out. And now we'll go ahead and test it out. I listened to it and it went perfectly with that particular video. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I do want to point out that between each video, I went ahead, I'm going to click on this little transition and I did set up the transitions to dissolve in between video. Just a little tip. Now I just need a song for the credits and then I'm going to save this as a movie. Just in case you can't use premium, go ahead and use bensound.com. Go ahead and choose free music. I'm going to choose electronic. I'll go ahead and scroll down and start listening to the music. After listening to the songs, I like the one that says on repeat. I will choose free download. I will choose download music. It is now in my downloads folder. Do make sure you go back to your slide and give credit to Ben Sound. So I'll go ahead and type in Ben Sound. To give credit, I am going to need to shrink the text again so it fits. I will click on the minus sign to make that smaller. I'm going to go to the left hand side and choose uploads. I will choose audio, upload file. I will go to my downloads folder and open up that song into Canva. Once it's loaded, I will bring the cursor to the beginning of my credits. I will drag out that song onto the slide. I will go ahead and click on those three dots and choose fade. I will set it to three and then three again and I will test it out. I will then go to the beginning of the presentation and I will click on the play button to test it. If you're happy with it and you no longer need to edit, you choose share in the upper right corner, click on download, make sure it's an MP4 and choose download. It might take a bit to download, but this is how you would get it as a video. When it's done downloading, go ahead and go to your downloads folder and there is the presentation. This concludes the session on how to use Melody Muse or add your own music to complement video. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.